Transgender is kind of an umbrella term that really describes a person who has an internal gender identity that is different than the one they were assigned at birth. So people get assigned a gender based primarily on their genital anatomy when they're born. So the first thing that you hear in a hospital is, it's a girl or it's a boy. You rarely hear, it's a baby, which is probably what we should be saying. And so some people, as they grow up, um, they recognize in different ways that they actually feel they have a different gender that they identify with internally that is not aligned with their body. It's important for people to understand that transgender is generally used as an identity. So people self-identify as having this discordance between their internal gender and their assigned birth gender. But in childhood, children sometimes behave as gender non-conforming. So we call children not necessarily transgender, but gender non-conforming, which means they're behaving or expressing their gender in a way that would be unexpected based on their genital anatomy. And that may be things like a boy-bodied person who wants to say paint their nails, or wear a skirt, or wear high heels, or have long hair, wear a wig, or the, in the flip reverse direction, a girl-bodied person who may say, I am a boy, or I wish I were a boy, or call me a boy's name. We have a little bit more latitude in what, the way that girl-bodied people express their gender. So people usually don't get upset when their girl-bodied child wants to wear pants, or wants to play sports, or wants to play video games, or things that we may associate with more typical male behavior. But if a boy-bodied person wants to wear girls' clothing or play with girls' toys, it generally tends to make us more alarmed as parents, as pediatricians, and as a society.